everyone. Welcome back to another video by NJE Life. Thank you so much for clicking on it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make delicious and super easy three ingredient air fryer pepperoni and cheese pinwheels. For other delicious and easy recipes, be sure to click that subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. So all the ingredients you'll need is some puff pastry like this. I'm using provolone cheese sliced, but you can use whatever sliced cheese you would like. And also sandwich pepperoni. I'm making mine like a pizza pinwheel. So now we're going to open up our puff pastry and lay it out flat. Now that I have my puff pastry laid out nice and flat, I'm going to put my sandwich pepperoni down, a nice layer. Alright, now we're going to put a layer of provolone cheese. Also, I forgot to mention, I have my air fryer preheated. It was preheating just now. So when, I, when these are all ready to go in, it's already preheated on 400 degrees. So now let's do a layer of cheese. I don't want it to be too cheesy, as if that's a thing, I know. Oh, I think it's gonna use all my sliced provolone. All right, so, gotta spread this out a bit. How many slices does this come with? 10 slices, so I'm using 10 slices because that's all I've got, so I gotta make it spread out. All right, so now you just carefully roll it up. Now we're going to cut these into one inch little pinwheels. Let's see how many I got out of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pinwheels. Now we're just going to simply place them in one single layer. So we are going to need to do this in batches. So here's the pinwheel. There's the edge one. Just put it in right in the bottom. Probably have to do this in two batches. Look how yummy. You could be so creative with this and do any kind of pinwheels. You could do roast beef and Swiss. I've got ham and cheese in the fridge that I'm gonna make later or another day. Pepperoni and cheese, whatever you like. You can do turkey and Swiss, you know, the buffalo chicken. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six in here, so my next batch will be these five. So these are gonna, Go in the air fryer for 15 minutes on 400 degrees. So I, I just started that now, 400 degrees for 15 minutes. So they've been cooking for five minutes so far. After five more minutes, I'm going to flip them over. Okay, it's now at the five minute marker. So I opened them up. Ooh, man, look at those. It looks just like cinnamon rolls, but it's pepperoni and cheese. I need to flip them over. I can see the top is nice and golden brown, but the bottom looks a bit lighter in color. So that's why I'm gonna flip them and hopefully it's nice and easy to do and they're not too badly stuck to the bottom. Let's try and flip them. Oh 
I'm gonna stick them back in there for the last five minutes. Okay, I just pulled them out of the air fryer and look at them. They look so delicious sizzling. I'm gonna put these on a plate and get this next batch in and also heat up some marinara sauce to dip them in. For the second batch, I'm gonna try it with some parchment paper on the bottom because some of the cheese, look, it flung over there. Some of the cheese melted off and got stuck to the bottom. So to keep all the cheese in there, I put that parchment paper down and we'll see if that helps. So here's these ones with the parchment paper after 10 minutes. They still need flipped. As you can see, the bottom is like still very light, especially on that one right there. <laughs> All right, let's try and flip them. Oh geez, okay. Um, I'm gonna try and flip these best I can. There we go, I got them all flipped. And see, it's a good thing I did not add more extra shredded cheese because as you can see, it's so cheesy. All right, let's put them back in for five minutes. Can't wait to try these, I'm so hungry. All right, this one looks good. Hopefully they're not still too hot. I got my bowl of marinara here that I just microwaved for about 20 seconds or so. I like it nice and hot. Let's try it. Yeah, that's good. It tastes just like stromboli. It's so good and perfect for appetizers for a party or lunch. You know, it was so quick and easy to make. This is really good. I hope you try it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below what you think. And I'll see you next video. Bye!